one saw it. I'm Karin. I'm an ordinary office worker. Huh? Ugh. I was an idiot back then. True love was right in front of me, but I didn't even realize it. The time I spent with you was the best time of my life. Let's start over. Ugh. One day I got a text from my ex-husband. This is him. His name is Hideki. We were divorced now. Why? Simple. He cheated on me. I thought we had a good marriage, but I guess I was wrong. But after the divorce, I made an unexpected friend. It all started three years ago. We were both working at the same company. He was a bit older than me. We started dating then. He proposed to me and I said yes. I was at the top of my world. My husband was liked by everyone. I was so happy that he was my husband now. I loved him very much and I never doubted him for a second. Let's eat! But a few months later, one day he was in the shower and his phone beeped. Hideki, he left his phone on the couch. What the? I had a great time today. Let's do this again sometime. Love ya! Huh? What the? Is he... is he having an affair? Ah, oh, that felt nice. Karin? What's going on? Ugh, Hideki. Ugh, I confronted him right away. But then... Oh, her? She's a client of mine. I took her out to dinner, but that's it. I think she likes me, but I have no interest in her. I don't know what to do about her. Are you telling me the truth? Of course. You're the only one I love, I swear. You believe me, don't you? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Don't be. I understand. Come on, let's eat. I wasn't fully convinced, to be honest, but... Uh, he was my husband, and I had to trust him. What else could I do? A few days later, I told some of my friends about this and asked them what they thought. Guys need a break, too, you know. Just let him be. Give him some room. Yeah, if you're really worried, do something to better yourself so he finds you more attractive, you know? They didn't really make a big deal out of it. Maybe it's not such a big deal after all. And she had a point. Maybe I'll start working out or something. I started going to cooking school to become a better cook. I started exercising to get in better shape. And I started being nicer to his parents. Maybe if I change, he'll change too. Sorry, and I'm thirsty. Me too. Okay. I want one too. I couldn't stand the idea of losing him. So I did everything I could to think of to keep him by my side. But then, a few months later... All right, I'm heading out. I'll be home in three days, so hold down the fort for me. Of course, have a good trip. Ah, uh, so sleepy. I got up at five today. I need to take a break. Huh? Who could that be? Hey! Oh, Karin, were you sleeping? Oh, Ozumi. Hello. You better not be slacking just because Hideki is away on our business trip. What? No, I was just taking a break. Oh, okay. Mind if I come in? Thanks! Ah, look at all these frozen foods. Are you even cooking for him? And look at all the dirty laundry. It's just the two of you, right? Ugh, give me a break. I never got along with my mother-in-law. She was always giving me a hard time about everything. Sorry, I'll try to do a better job. Here, would you like some tea? Ah. An hour later. Well, I better head out. Okay, thanks for stopping by. Ugh. Huh? I kind of feel bad for you. He left you here all by yourself, huh? Huh? He must be living it up at the theme park right now. Huh? Uh, Hideki's on a business trip. Wait, he didn't tell you, did he? Who are you? Want me to get you anything, Mom? He said he was staying at Edra Hotel tonight. <sighs> <laughs> Whatever. I guess he doesn't really care about you. Well, gotta go. Bye! <sighs> Is she for real? He's not on a business trip? This can't be. He's never taken me to a theme park, not even once. I gotta wake up at five every morning to do housework. And he's out there messing around with other girls? That's it, I've had enough. I grabbed my stuff, ran out of the house, and hopped on the train. A few hours later, I was at the hotel he was staying at, waiting for him to show up. Then, a few hours later, ugh, she was telling me the truth, I can't believe it. Hey, what's going on here? What the, who are you? You scared me. Shut up! He's my husband! Get away from him! What? Hold on. He's married? Stop making things up! This is my boyfriend! People were staring, but I didn't even care anymore. I completely lost it. This girl and I got in a huge fight. Get away from him, skank! Shut up! Get lost! Hey! Stop it, you two! If you love me, please stop! He did try to stop us, but it was no use. But then... Ah! 
Hidegi started crying. I don't think he was actually crying, though. Uh. Uh. Please stop fighting over me! I love you both! Uh. Uh. Are you serious right now? This is all your fault to begin with. Seeing like this finally opened my eyes. At a blink of an eye, I lost all feelings for him. And by the looks of it, I think his girlfriend felt the same way. Uh, you can have him if you want. Oh, that's okay. Oh, I insist. He said he was single. I can't trust him anymore. But I don't want him either. That makes two of us. Uh, wait. What are you two saying? What am I supposed to do? Uh, I don't know. For starters, I want a divorce, so I guess I'll see you in court. What? I'm leaving you too. Goodbye. What? Wait! Why? Hold on! Please wait! Come back! Come back! Come on! We can all talk about this! Why? I love you both so much! Uh, uh, <sighs> I feel like such an idiot. Uh, I'm sorry. Huh? I, I had no idea he was married. I'm such an idiot. Oh, uh, I'm sorry too. I shouldn't have yelled at you like that. What are you gonna do now? Huh? Oh, uh, not sure. I ran out of the house, so I guess I'll stay at a motel tonight and go back to my parents' house tomorrow. Um, if you want, wanna crash at my place? What? After what I did, it's the least I can do. And there are some things I wanna talk to you about, so... But... It's okay if you don't want to, though. It's up to you. Um, alright then. Thanks. Alright! I had nowhere to go, so I thanked her and followed her to her home. After that, we introduced each other. Her name was Akane. We stopped by the store on the way to buy toothbrushes and stuff. And Akane, she was a really sweet person. Hidegi was lying to her all along. She was a victim in all this too. We spent hours talking and complaining about Hidegi. We actually had a great time together. He was such an asshole. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I saw in him. You're gonna divorce him, right? Yeah, I can't live with him anymore. Then here, use this. Huh? It's all the texts I got from him. It'll work to your advantage in the trial. I'm pissed at him too. I mean, how could he do this to you? You deserve better than this. He has to pay for what he did. What he did is unforgivable. I'll help you in any way I can. It's time to get him back. Akane, thank you. And so Akane helped me prepare my case against him. A few weeks later, the divorce was finalized. And Akane and I, we ended up becoming great friends. I was an idiot back then. True love was right in front of me, but I didn't even realize it. The time I spent with you was the best time of my life. Let's start over. Ugh, he sent me the same thing the other day. <laughs> yeah, I told him I wasn't interested. <laughs> you replied to him? You're too nice. I just ignored him. He think he's so pathetic. I heard he hasn't changed at all. I love you! Please don't leave me! I guess some people just don't learn. We were such idiots back then. Yeah, what the heck did we see in him? Whatever, screw him. Hey, I'm hungry. Wanna go grab some Korean barbecue? Sounds good. I'm starving. And so I lost a husband, but I made a great friend, so... All right, eat up, Akane. <laughs> Thanks, Karin. I guess everything kind of worked out. <laughs> ご視聴いただきありがとうございました。男の子が産めなかったからと文句を言う前にまずは母子共に無事で健康に生まれてきたことを喜ぶべきじゃないんですかね。そもそも赤ちゃんは授かり物なんですから望んだ性別の子が生